Alrighty, so it is 14.50 p.m. It is Wednesday, so happy hump day. And Woman Crush Wednesday to my favorite ladies that I love the most. So, we've got Clive Barker's Nightbreed Volume 1 from Boom Studios, soft cover edition. So, yeah, I'm going to be buying the archive edition of this shit because I need to know more. <laughs> this was so good. Dude. I finished this in 21 minutes. That's my fastest time. I was surprised by that. There's Pelican. So I'm going to scratch my face. There we go. Better so. Finish this. There's everybody involved with this story. So far. And this was fucking spectacular. This is an origin story. Literally. It ties into... The movie, Nightbreed itself, lots of pages in this I enjoyed. This is one of them. Um, it's brutal, it's bloody, and a great introduction to the world of Midian. Uh, fucking, mm -mm -mm, so good. I gotta say, the first person POV panels are my top favorite thing about this volume. Like, they're the best. Like, I have never seen such attention to detail in that. And these pages are so silky. Just, ugh. But yeah, it's one of Pelequin's uh, women that he bit and turned. But it's very interesting to see how where everybody came from and how they all ended up in Midian, which is really cool. It's mostly centered around Pelequin's and Reverend Ashbury's origins told from Wildsburg's perspective. Yeah. And that's Shunna. She looks so beautiful. Like, it's erotic, but the way, the whole layout of the page, just absolutely stunning shit. Love it. So good. I love Nightbreed. <laughs> I've, review I've reviewed the Cabal Cut before and the original version already, so if you want to check those out, go for it. Uh... I'm definitely buying the archive. It's got a good, which has a very good chunk of Nightbreed origin in it as well. Uh, volume 1 as is, 9.8 out of 10. And I love the colors too. Like the colors for this, absolutely remarkable. I just, I could not get over this shit. I love origin stories. Origins are the best. There's Aaron. Yeah, this is absolutely spellbinding over and over and over again like so fucking cool and this didn't hold back either which is really nice because it's Clive Barker's work so there you go but would they be able to make this into a mini series uh, not really that was pretty graphic self-flagellation that was also in the da vinci code yeah. i couldn't believe that was the same reverend ashbury i didn't know i was like is that the same guy i was like damn this really adds to his character from the movie but these first person pobs from his perspective absolutely amazing I loved it. It was just, I was like, wow, this is good fucking shit. <sighs> and of course, you go back and forth in time learning where everybody came from, which is really amazing. So I'm guessing, um, and his name is Vasty Moses. <laughs> it's pretty cool. And that's the end of it. It's a bummer. But it's so cool. It's such a great introduction. And the cover gallery is phenomenal, too. Mike Magnola's cover here, I loved. This one was amazing, too, by Matthew Roberts. And this one from Tony Harris. Absolutely cool as shit. So fucking dope. Yeah. I love this. And this was from the, uh, in a library loan out from Tom's River in New Jersey. So, thank you, Tom River Library. 
Or Ocean County Library. My bad, OCJ. <laughs> so, if you don't like Nightbreed, you hate Clive Barker, you hate comics, you hate Boom Studios, you don't know how to fucking read, you don't like me, you love me, you hate me, you adore me, you want to kill me, all that jazz, this is definitely not for you. If you are all about that shit I just named off, definitely for you. So, I will be back later on with a rant vid. You'll enjoy it. You'll hate it. Trust me. So, until next time. Well, stay tuned.